everybody welcome to Tashi's world of books and welcome to another book review as well as some other updates and all kinds of stuff hey you guys welcome back to my channel and so today I thought I would do a little something different I want to give you a couple updates so that you know the direction that the channel is going to be going as well as talk about some books that I got and so Let's just get into it and see where I see how my rambling works out. Okay, so I had in the, when I first started my channel, I was doing weekly updates or weekly reading wrap ups, and I was doing monthly updates. And I sort of have stepped away from that, if you've noticed. And the reason I stepped away from that is because I notice on a couple of my other social media sites, you guys are wanting specific recommendations around dark romance, my best friends you know, brother or my brother's best friend or menage recommendations or MM or those kinds of things. And so what I'm doing, since I read a lot of dark romances, is I'm doing recommendations around authors. So I'm going to read as many books as I have for a particular author. And then I'm going to try and lump them in dark recommendations, menage, you know, best friends, type tropes those kind of, like I'm gonna lump them in tropes and do those recommendations in that way I think that's gonna work out a little bit better I don't know we'll see how it goes and so right now I'm moving into I just finished up with Kay Webster I haven't read all of her backlist because her backlist is pretty intense so I've read everything that I have of hers for right now and so now I'm moving on to Tilly Cole and um, as I'm sort of trying to separate things for Tilly Cole, the first book that I read of Tilly Cole is A Thousand Boy Kisses. And this is not gonna fall in with my other Tilly Cole dark recommendations. Like right now I'm reading Rays and Reap and Riot and all of those. And so those are like Russian brought from mafia, doesn't fit. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do Tilly Cole's A Thousand Boy Kisses by itself. And then I'll do a book uh, haul video with a couple other books that I got and then just call this a wrap and then move on to every other Tilly Cole. Okay, having said that, I read A Thousand Boy Kisses, and let me just say, whoever the hell recommended this to me, why didn't you warn me? I was so not prepared. I just was not prepared. Like, I went into this, like, thinking, like, this is going to be, you know, a YA romance, like, Thousand Boy Kisses, like, I don't know, there's going to be some angst, there's going to be some drama. Nope. No, no, no. So I'm warning you now, consider yourself warned. You have to be in the mood. You have to be prepared for what you're getting yourself into. And it is soul shattering, heartbreaking, tremendous love that you've never seen before in your life. Like it just, and I think she even says at the very beginning, she says dedication for believers in true, epic, soul-shattering love, this one's for you. I should have known when I saw that that I, <laughs> that I was getting myself into this. I, I did a video, and I'll put it up here, on Cryworthy Books. And absolutely, when I do the second part of that, this book will be there. The only other time that I have like literally sobbed for a book is... A Little Life by Yanya Yag Yaga, Han Yana Yanagahara, I think is her name. That's the only other time. This book is earth shattering, soul searching, soulmate love for sure. It is about, and I think you should go into this book blind. That's it. You should go into it blind. All you need to know is that this is a friends, best friends to lovers situation. It is about a Swedish, a Norway, like a Viking family that moves to uh, Georgia and they move next door to another family. And there is a boy and a girl that, that are part of that family. And the girl's name is Poppy and his name is Rune. So Poppy and Rune. And it is epic. And I am telling you, I cried. I cried from page two, no, page 10, all the way through. I wasn't even expecting. 
I think I identified with this book so much because I have something that happened in my past that I don't want to share because if I share it's going to ruin this that took me back and so this is it's a lot but it's beautiful it's beautiful it's really really good I just wasn't expecting it I wasn't prepared but I think it was amazing and it's a story that needs to be told but you need to be prepared that it's gonna tear your heart out in so many ways and I'm not always prepared for those kind of books like I want to go into a book and I want to like have angst and I want to have drama and I want to have stuff going on but I want to step away like yay that was amazing and I don't know that I did that in this book it's a five out of five star for sure just like when you go into a little life you got to be prepared like when you go into forbidden you got to be prepared like when you go into any of these kind of like you know Cassandra Clare's you know the second book a clockwork prince as well as the most recent chain of iron <laughs> you got to be prepared for the for like like having your heart wrenched um, this falls into that category, but is it worth a read? For sure, I absolutely think that you should read it. And I, will I ever read it again? Nope. Will I read A Little Life again? Nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. One time is good enough. Will I remember this book? Yes, yes. Will I remember A Little Life? Yes, absolutely. Will I remember Forbidden? Yes, absolutely. Do I wanna expose myself again? Nope, mm -mm. no. No, 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 <laughs> no, I can't do that again. So it's so different and it's so funny because it's so different than everything else that I'm reading by Tilly Cole. And you know, I'm only read. this is my like, you know, third book or whatever that I'm reading of hers. And so, um, wow, this is really different, but it's worth it. It's worth a read. So that's A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. Okay, so then on to the book haul section. So I went ahead and picked up Ruthless Creatures by JT Gessinger. And so this is book one in the series. The next book is coming out June, July, like this month, next month. It's coming out very, very soon. So this is the first book in the series. I have heard really, really good things about this book. So this basically Ruthless Creatures is takes place where five years ago she's set to get married she's like at the altar she's got her wedding dress prepared she's all ready and then all of a sudden mysteriously her fiance disappears like with no trace and no explanation and no nothing and so she's kind of left with like all these unanswered questions and this mystery and the secret and then next in town or the next thing that happens is this guy this strange enigmatic character named cage comes into town he's dangerous he's full of secrets and she's drawn to him like a moth to flames. And she's like, I don't know what it is about him, but I gotta have some more. I gotta know what's going on. And then lo and behold, there is a interconnection between the fiance and Cage. And Cage is there to collect on all the secrets and everything that's happened with the fiance. And so it is, it is gonna deliver in a lot of ways. I heard people say that this is one of their favorite books that she has written. I haven't read it yet. I think I'm gonna wait until the second book comes out because you guys know I like to immerse myself and I can't, I don't like, if I read this and then it's like six months before I can get to the second book, then I have to read this book again and then read the next, like, and I don't like to do that. So I'm just gonna wait until the next book comes out and then I'll read that. So that is Ruthless Creatures. Okay, so then the next books that I picked up are also by J.T. Gessinger, and book one is Beautifully Cruel, and then book two is Cruel Paradise. So we'll talk about book one. And so book one is, he is, he has the high, so his name is Liam Black. He is the highest ranking dominant in the dis dominance hierarchy, and he's the most powerful man in this group. So I'm already like alpha, alpha, alpha. The alpha heroes. I love them. Okay, so he's a stranger to me, a dark and dangerous presence who materialized from the shadows one rainy night to save me from a vicious attack. I'm loving it. I didn't know his name or where he was from. All I knew was that he, the, all I knew was that the only place 
I'd ever felt safe is in his arms. But safety is an illusion. And not every savior is a hero. And as I soon find out, having an alpha save you from, save your life comes with a price. Liam Black wanted something from me in return. Don't they always? I am so in and so excited and I'm not even going to touch this because this is the follow up and I don't even want to know because I want to go in blind and I'm super excited and I'm like I love alpha assholes and the more dominant the better and oh my gosh I'm going to eat it all up and then some in a bag of chips. So you guys I tried to I didn't want to make a short video for you guys so I wanted to kind of wrap it up. I'm glad that I did a thousand boy kisses and then I wrapped up my cup of my book haul in here. So then the next video that I'm going to do is going to be on Raise and Reap and Riot and Revenge, which is like Russian bratva. That's coming up on Friday. So, we'll we'll see. But you guys, that is all that I have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. And you know, I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I look forward to seeing you then. You guys, thanks so much for all your support. And I love you guys. Mwah!